authorities want you to listen to this next story. So maybe you wouldn't fall for this, but maybe your parents or your grandparents, you know, they might. So here's Katie Lusso with a scam that's making rounds and police believe there are more victims out there. A text call. <laughs> A computer pop-up, or in this case, a letter claiming to be from the Federal Trade Commission. That's what the latest victim in what's being called a gold bar scam told investigators he received according to new court documents. That letter indicating that the FTC was filing a lawsuit, that the victim, a 74-year-old man from Bethesda, was entitled to money, but that he needed to contact an attorney named Mike Rogers. That quote attorney told the victim he needed to convert his money into gold. Police say he did, eight times between May and June, and in total giving the fake attorney more than a million dollars. But while he was waiting on his final order of more than $200,000 to be converted to gold, he told authorities he saw this news report on WUSA 9. Another person is behind bars accused of taking part in what Montgomery County officials call a gold bar scam. The victim, an 82-year-old woman who converted almost a million dollars into gold bars and handed it over to scammers posing as federal agents. After reading it, he realized he might also be a victim in called police. They set up a sting and arrested 52-year-old Vipal Thakar. Montgomery County prosecutors say this is the fourth person they've arrested in these gold bar scams, with at least 20 cases reported since the start of the year. They've been working to warn seniors who appear to be the target. The government does not communicate with you by text message or phone calls. It's just not the way they do it. That's Katie Lasso reporting. She says, like he just said, the biggest takeaway from a scam like this, the government's not going to contact you like that. So if you know someone or even if you yourself have been a victim of a scam like this, please call police.